what? Today, we're swooping into a blast from the past that could revolutionize our future. Compact discs. Remember those days of flipping through racks of CDs at your local store? Yeah, can I check that newspaper? From unwrapping a fresh album to experiencing that flawless sound quality, CDs were once a pinnacle of technology. The biggest revolution in the recording industry since the invention. But in a world dominated by streaming and cloud storage, are CDs a thing of the past? Let's explore how compact discs might be making an unexpected comeback. The evolution of compact discs. To understand this potential resurgence, we first need to revisit how compact discs revolutionized data storage. Compact discs were once groundbreaking, utilizing a laser to scan a spinning disc and deliver pristine audio quality. However, as technology evolved, CDs were overshadowed by flash storage, streaming services, and cloud storage. But here's where things get interesting. Recent research is challenging the notion that CDs are obsolete. Scientists have developed a new 3D optical disc with an astonishing storage capacity of 1.6 petabytes. To put that in perspective, this disc can hold over 200,000 DVDs worth of data, all on a single disc, the history of CDs. To appreciate this new development, let's take a look at the history of compact discs. The compact disc's origins trace back to the late 1970s, when Philips was exploring video disc technology. Inspired by emerging laser technology, Philips envisioned a disc that could store and read data without physical contact. Although their video disc project failed, they pivoted to the audio market, aiming to create a portable disc that could outperform vinyl records and tapes. Their innovation led to the development of the Audio Long Play ALP system, and despite initial plans for quadraphonic sound, they settled on a simpler format. The term compact disc was chosen to evoke the success of the compact cassette. The collaboration between Philips and Sony, this historical backdrop sets the stage for an important partnership that shaped the future of CDs. Philips partnered with Sony to refine the compact disc technology. Sony's extensive experience in digital audio circuitry helped develop the analog-to-digital conversion process and error-correcting codes crucial for maintaining audio quality. Philips focused on the laser technology needed to read the disc's surface, turning data into binary code. This collaboration resulted in the creation of the Red Book standard, which defined the technical specifications for compact discs. The first CDs and their impact. With this foundational technology in place, the first CDs made their debut. April 1982 marked the introduction of the first production CD player by Philips. The initial batch of CDs was produced in Hanover, Germany, featuring albums like ABBA's The Visitors and Herbert von Karajan's recording of Richard Strauss's The Alpine Symphony. By October 1982, Sony's CDP-101 was released in Japan, accompanied by the first commercial CD, Billy Joel's 52nd Street. Despite early skepticism, CDs quickly gained traction. By 1985, Dire Straits Brothers in Arms became the first CD to sell over a million copies. By 1988, 400 million CDs were manufactured globally. The new optical disc. Fast forward to today, and compact discs are experiencing a revival thanks to groundbreaking research. Scientists at the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology have developed a new type of 3D optical disc capable of storing up to 1.6 petabytes of data. This disc, despite its size being similar to standard Blu-ray discs, can hold 4,000 times more data. This advancement could transform data storage and archiving. How it works? To understand how this is possible, let's investigate the technology behind these new optical disks. The secret to their massive storage capacity lies in their multiple layers. Traditional disks have one or two layers, but this new disk features 100 layers, each capable of holding data. Researchers used advanced materials that minimized light scattering and created data spots smaller than visible light wavelengths. 
This multi-layer approach enables unprecedented data density. An orange light reveals the stored data by turning off the glow. Benefits of the new optical disc. Given these advancements, let's dig into the potential benefits of these ultra-high capacity discs. They could revolutionize data centers by allowing for vast amounts of data to be stored in a significantly smaller physical space. Their durability, portability, and resistance to electromagnetic interference make them ideal for long-term archival storage. Downsides and challenges. However, it's important to address the challenges that come with this new technology. Despite their impressive capabilities, the new optical discs face several hurdles. Market adoption may be slow due to the entrenched dominance of cloud storage and streaming services. Additionally, current prototypes face issues with writing speed and energy consumption, and the high cost of necessary equipment like advanced lasers poses a barrier to widespread use. Thank you for watching High Tech 9. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the resurgence of compact discs, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on the latest in technology.